Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll learn about operational amplifier AC circuits. Uh, before we start, keep in mind that in case of a operational amplifier, the voltages at these two terminals are always equal or they remain same. Now let's start with, with an example. In this case, we need to find the output voltage. We not give an input 3 cos 1000 T. So, first of all, we need to convert the circuit into phasor form or frequency domain where omega is 1000. So, the source becomes 3 angle 0 and we will use omega to find out the value of uh, these two capacitors. And if you, I am sure by now you know how to calculate, so you can get this uh, circuit in phasor form or frequency domain. Now, important point to note in this circuit is that this point is connected with the output. So, output is V0, therefore this point will also be V0. Another point, as we mentioned in the previous slide, since this is connected to 0, that means this voltage is 0 at the positive terminal, therefore the other terminal will also have 0 volt. So, we will write 0 volt here. So, with these two assumptions, now we will find the current at node uh, 1 and then at node 2 and then we will solve. So, we are applying KCL at node 1 and we can see the current I1 is entering and then I2 I3 and I4 are leaving, therefore I1 equals I2 plus I3 plus I4. And then converting this in terms of a voltage and impedance, so I1 is now 3 minus V1 divided by 10K, so 3 minus V1 divided by 10K. You can also use the technique that we learned in circuit 1, that is 0 minus V1 plus 3, so we will get the same thing. And I2 is V1 divided by this impedance. I3 is V1 minus V0 divided by 10K. And I4 is V1 minus V0 divided by 20K. So, uh, we converted the currents in terms of a voltage and then we will simplify. The best way is that first we get rid of this minus j. So, it, when it goes up, it will become plus j. And then we multiply the whole thing by the LCM, that is 20. So, multiplying by 20, you get this equation. And uh, connecting the light terms together, this is equation number 1. So this is at node number 1. Now we'll have another equation for node number 2. So this is node 2. At node 2, now again we have a current entering here, I3, and this current leaving. Uh, we know that no current enters uh, into the operational amplifier, so there will be just these two currents. And so we can write this as V1 minus 0 divided by uh, 10 which was I3 so this is V1 minus 0 divided by 10 and the current leaving is 0 minus V0 so 0 minus V0 divided by this impedance minus J10 and again simplifying we get V1 equals minus J V0 so now we'll solve these two equations from these two equations, uh, we are keen to find V out, therefore we will substitute V1 here and we will solve. So, by substituting equation 2 into equation 1 and solving, uh, we find 
V naught to be 6 over 3 minus J5, which in polar form will become 1.029 angle 59.04. And in time domain, this will become 1.029 cos omega t plus 59.04 volt. So this is uh, the first example. We will do another one. In this all, we have to find two things. We have to find the output voltage and we have to find I naught. Again, if you note this uh, circuit, this point is connected. So this is V naught comes here. This is also connected to the negative terminal here. So V naught is at this point also. And since V naught is at, at one of the terminals, therefore the other terminal will also be V naught. Therefore, we'll have a V naught here. So let's um, convert into the phasor form. Here, yeah, omega is uh, 5000. So we'll use that. So converting the two uh, capacitances into phasor form, we get this in the circuit. And now again we take uh, the currents at node 1, so I1 entering and I2, I3 leaving. So I1 equals I2 plus I3 and then converting in terms of a voltage. Two minus V1 is for I1 divided by 10K. Uh, for simplicity, since all of them have Ks, so we are eliminating Ks. We are not writing Ks here. Can uh, cancels on both sides. And similarly, I2 is now V1 minus V0. As we told that this point V0, this point is also V0. And so this is also V0. So V1 minus V0. Uh, uh, so th this one V1 minus V0 is for I3. I think uh, the sequence is disturbed. This should be first. Anyway, so this is uh, I3 and this is I2. And again, simplifying, uh, we get the first equation. Now, the second equation at node 2. So the current entering here is current leaving and uh, I2 is V1 minus V0 divided by 20K. So V1 minus V0 divided by 20K and this is V0 minus 0 divided by minus J10. So simplifying we get equation number 2 and solving these two equations um, we can find V0. And in terms of time domain, the V0 will be uh, 0.667 uh, cos omega, uh, cos omega t, cos, cos 5000 t minus 90. And it is always better to convert it in the form in which the voltage was given. So the voltage uh, was in sine, so we'll write it in sine. If you write it up to this point, it's okay. And uh, no problem. This is a correct answer also. Now to find current. This is the current that we are interested to find. So we can see here uh, there are three branches meeting. So I3 is coming and I4 is leaving. But one point to be noted for I4, since we know that no current can enter into the um, ideal operational amplifier therefore this current I4 will be 0 that means I0 plus I3 both entering equal to 0 so the current equation will be I3 plus uh, I0 plus I3 equals to I4 but I4 is 0 therefore I0 plus I3 equals 0 or I0 will be equal to minus I3 so if you can find minus I3, uh, that will be the answer. 
So I naught is minus I3 and minus I3 minus sin I3 is V1 minus V naught V1 minus V naught divided by minus J20 and so this is I naught and now we'll put the values of uh, V naught and V2 so from equation number 2 this was the relation from equation number 2 so putting the values here uh, we get I naught equals to because V naught minus V1 this whole we replace by minus 4 over 3 so minus 4 over 3 divided by minus j20 minus j20 and that is by solving we get minus j66.1 micro ampere because we are dividing um, by kilo here and converting into the cosine form it is 66.6 .6 cos 5000 t minus 90 micro ampere so I hope uh, this gives some idea about the working of operational amplifier.